What's going on, everybody? Slender here, and we're doing some more testing. Now, all this testing is done on the PTR. Um, so I know, you know, technically speaking, live is 1.6.2, and I'm not sure what version the PTR this is, but I'm pretty sure that all the healing effects and everything like that as far as combat is the same all they've done is they've you know fixed some bugs with 1.6.1 and 1.6.2 so i will be going on live just to make sure that these numbers are still the same but i'm pretty sure it's it's consistent now what we're doing today is we're going to be testing a couple of different abilities and perks and the main thing i want to test right now is how good is mending protection that's what we're trying to figure out here so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be testing Mending Protection with it being on the Life Staff itself and all the Life Staffs have Blessed. And I'm also going to be testing uh, Mending Protection on the Armor and then we're going to be taking a look at just flat values without any Mending Protection at all. No Armor, no Life Staff and just really want to dig you know deep into this perk and see if it's really worth it because currently I'm trying to find a life staff with refreshing move, mending protection, and blessed. And I think that's going to be a million dollar life staff. But at the same time, uh, fortifying sacred grounds, an amazing pick, and it's probably going to be the meta. And I plan on making a healing guide, um, you know, which is going to be maybe meta, maybe my personal favorite. And I'm going to be honest, it's probably going to be with mending protection. So. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what kind of numbers we get. And just so everybody's aware of what many protection actually is, it increases your healing power by 24% for three seconds if orb of protection heals an ally with less than 50% health. This target dummy's my ally. He's always got less than 50% health. And once he gets in every tick, of that mending protection every tick of orb of protection since we have this uh right here it gives them recovery and the recovery is also included in the mending protection heals so every time that recovery ticks and gives you another little heal it refreshes the mending protection until they reach 50 percent and when it's on the life staff it goes from 24 percent to 42 percent at 625 gear score, which is absolutely insane. So one thing to note is when we're gonna when we test this, I'm not gonna be using protector strength. So we're not gonna have that 20% buff. Uh, it's gonna be all as flat, you know, values as I can get. So what we're gonna have is gonna get all this, gonna get all this because every build is going to have this and this is going to be our base plus we're going to do all the perks into orb protection so the only thing that we're really going to have that's giving us a buff is this one right here which is going to be giving us another five percent increase in healing um, we're also going to be using this which is you know if they're below 50 percent health which my dummy will be below 50 percent health we're going to get 30 percent more and i think that is it yeah, that's cooldowns, that's healing aura. And we're not going to be using intensify either. I'm not going to be rolling up any stacks of intensify. But I am going to be having some fun at the end of the video. I'm going to see how high I can get sacred ground just by myself. You know, with the, the dodge roll, with protector strength, intensify, everything. And I'm going to see if we can get to 2,000 sacred ground but or ticks, which would be pretty badass. But anyway... So this is going to be our base loadout. Everything's going to be done with exactly 400 focus. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start testing. And I also want to show you guys, I do have sacred. So every, and every healer is going to have sacred. Every healer is going to have blessed on their life staff. So that's nothing new. So for the first test, I'm just going to do a flat. Um, we're going to see what, what kind of sacred ground we get without any mending protection at all. So I'm going to be using this life staff just has blessed and then no many protection perks on any of my gear and if my calculations are correct we should get a sacred ground tick of 1083 
Gotta wait for my guy to wake back up. I got logged out. And yep, there's our 1,083. That is base. All right, so quickly one more time. And there it is, 1,083. All right, so the next test is with uh, mending protection on our boots, and that's gonna still keep us in the light category, but I'm gonna have to respec or add some focus because the boots have con, I think. And this doesn't do anything to us. Nope. So 400 focus, but this time we have mending protection on the boots. So let's get our dummy down a little bit more. So right away, you can see we have a new buff right here, which is the many protection buff. And once I get over 50% health, then it starts ticking down to three seconds, two seconds, one. So I don't know why it gives us four seconds, not three, but I mean, I could just be reading that wrong, but whatever. So now we're going to do it again, but we're going to toss down our sacred and see how much our sacred ticks for with that buff on. Twelve hundred and twenty-nine. So that is a significant bonus in my opinion. I think that's pretty damn good. And now we're going to use this perk on the weapon instead. So we're going to put these boots back on. And we're going to grab the life staff that has blessed and mending protection. And then we also need to turn down our focus. There we go. All right, so we're going to hit him with an orb and then sacred. 1339. Damn. So another like 110 per tick of sacred ground. That, I think that's pretty big. That's why I really love this perk it is awesome so i mean you know if you want to be the best healer you can be it's probably going to be sacred ground fortifying sacred ground um you know it's a lot of fortify it, it you know and it, it fortifies everybody but if you just want pure raw you know healing power and numbers i think this would be a really viable option so now we're gonna see how high we can get that sacred ground rolling so what we're going to do is we're going to increase our focus, get it as high as we can. And unfortunately on the PTR, I can't get a void gauntlet or anything else with focus on it unless I craft it. I had to delete my PTR character to, you know, do some testing. So we're going to be shy, you know, another 31 focus. And I'm also going to change the life staff build around. So we're going to get, so we're going to use Intensify, we're going to use our Dodge Roll, we're going to do the Protector Strength, if you have a buff, heal for 20% more, and I think that is it. That lasts longer, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to use the Target Dummies to get the Intensify stacks, I'm going to Dodge Roll, and uh, all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get the health down. Alright, so we're going to get the Intensify going. Dodge roll. 1938. Holy crap. <laughs> I bet you on live we can get 2000. That'd be pretty sweet. How about we try this again with a diamond? Yes, 2037. All right, so now we're going to test mending orb protection or whatever it's called, mending protection. Yeah, with uh, Light's Embrace. And we went back to the 400 focus. And I'm not going to be using any of these. You know, I'm not going to be using the Bend Light, uh, Protector Strength, none of that. We're just going to get the basic, you know, flat heals. And then we're going to see how much it increases with Mending or Mending Protection. All right, so base, base, Light's Embrace with one buff on the target, which is going to be, you know, over protection. Forty-two thirteen. And I'm going to try one more time. 
40, yep, 42.13. Now we're going to try with Mending Protection only on the armor. And we're going to go back up to 400 Focus. So 42.13. Four. Oh, I didn't see it. Try it one more time. 46.98. And one more time for good luck. Yep, 46.98. Alright. And the last test for Lights Embrace, we're going to do many protection on the life staff. And we've got 400 focus. Alright, let's see what we got. 5,064. And one more time. Yep, 5,064. So with no orb of protection or mending protection perk at all, 4215 or 4213. But with the mending protection on the life staff, 5,064. That's crazy. So I'm really, really digging the uh, mending protection on the life staff. I think that's going to be my, you know, my perk of choice. For the weapon anyway um but we've gone this far so might as well test the other heals we're gonna take a look and see i keep hearing about uh divine embrace and how it's a great heal now or it's better than lights embrace so let's take a look heal target for 120 percent weapon damage less mana if your targets below 50 percent health which it will be heal one additional ally so for the same amount so that's actually pretty cool and then if the, if the ally healed by shared struggle is below 50%, heal another ally. So three person heal. Well, let's see how much it actually heals for. 120% weapon damage. What's Light's Embrace? 80 plus 15 for each buff. Jeez. And then with the Divine Embrace perk, what is that? Refreshing Divine Embrace reduces the cooldown by almost 50%. Jeez. And even more if it's on a weapon. It's funny, it doesn't really say the cast speed anywhere. It's got the cooldown, but no cast speed. Well, let's see which one's faster. So this is Divine Embrace and Light's Embrace. It's like the same exact cast speed. Hmm. All right, so let's give it a shot. So still have 400 to focus. Nothing crazy, no buffs over here on the right side of the tree. And there's really no buffs that increase the amount of healing here. So I'm gonna get it all the way down. And... God, 54, 15. It's actually pretty good. All right, and now we're gonna try it with the mending protection. I'm gonna reset our stats. And now try it. So 54, 15, before. 60, ah, oh, I couldn't see it. 61, 42. And then finally, Divine Embrace with many protection on our weapon. gold here soon <laughs> all right so we've got 54 15 61 42 with the mending protection on the armor Six ninety one with mending protection on the life staff so it went from 5415 to 6691. Now remember, that's without all the extra buffs. That's without the intensify, the dodge roll. So that, wow, I wonder how high we, yeah, screw it. Let's find out. We're going to max out everything just like we did with Sacred. All right, so we've got Orbit Protection, which is going to, you know, increase the buff. We've got Divine Embrace plus Ben Light. Protect your strength, which is another buff for 20% more. Or if you have a buff, you're going to heal them for 20% more. And then all the other usual stuff over here. And then we've got as much 
focus as I can get on this character with the food and everything. And then mending protection on the life staff, of course. Full light gear, blah, blah, blah. So let's see how big of a divine embrace we can. No way. Was that almost 10K? No. I, I'm actually really, really, really excited right now. So we've got our intensify, bend light, or 96.83. Oh, I'm not even gonna test the clap. So, man, I really, what a enlightening moment. Holy crap. So without even any more, I'm going to still be doing some testing, but with the, oh, so this is what I'm probably going to end up doing. I'm going to do some more testing. I'll put out some more videos. And when I get my, um, I'm so excited right now. When I get all my results in, I, this is probably going to be my build. Divine Brace, without a doubt. Get rid of Beacon, Orb of Protection, and Sacred Ground. I mean, that is a winner right there because if you can heal three people for 10k plus having the refreshing divine embrace on your armor and the mending protection on your life staff i think that would be an insane healing build absolutely insane i gotta try it one more time that is crazy that is nuts and you don't have to worry about how many buffs the target has for lights embrace plus it's the same cast time less downtime with uh refreshing divine embrace yeah i'm gonna be doing some testing guys for dungeons and arenas i think and especially if you're doing um you know opr with a group with a pre-made i think divine brace would be amazing so let me just try one more time yeah 96.83 10,645. Goodbye, Beacon. Goodbye, Lights Embrace. Goodbye, Splash of Light. Hello, Divine Embrace and Mending Protection. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any suggestions on anything else you'd like to see me test, I'm going to be doing some testing on the other heels. And again, I'm going to see what I can come up with. But um, let me know. Let me know what you guys would like to see, all right? Sorry if it was boring, but... I think we found some cool information and maybe I've just been, you know, had my head in the sand and, and really focused on this AOE build, but wow, Divine Embrace seems like it's going to be really good. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.